In this video, we are going to look at a few examples to practice working with segments that are formed from secant and tangent lines in circles. In example A, we're asked to find the value of the missing segment, which would be segment X. X is created by a tangent line, and this other line right here is a secant line that is broken up into two segments. Now the relationship that exists here is that the tangent part segment squared will equal the outside part of the secant line times the whole secant line. So in other words, x squared will equal 4, the outside part, times the whole thing, which is 16, 4 plus 12. So x squared equals 64, which means that x equals 8, or x equals negative 8. Now in the context of this problem, Negative 8 doesn't make sense because x is a length and you can't have a negative length. So we're going to cross out that answer and say x equals 8 is our only answer. In example B, again, we're finding the value of the missing segment. And this time, our missing segment is y, the outside part of the secant line. The same relationship exists that the tangent part squared will equal the outside part of the secant line, y, times the full secant, y plus 30. We can solve this equation. 400 equals, and then we'll have to distribute, y squared plus 30y. Now this is a quadratic equation, so to solve it, we want to set it equal to 0 first. So minus 400 from both sides to do that. So we have 0 equals y squared plus 30y minus 400. And we can factor this as y plus 40 and y minus 10, which gives us two answers when we use the zero product property, because either y plus 40 equals zero or y minus 10 equals zero, which means either y equals negative 40 or y equals 10. Now, y equals negative 40, again, doesn't make sense because you can't have a negative length. So that doesn't make sense, and our answer must be y equals 10. Let's finish off by looking at example C. It says fill in the blank and then solve for the missing segment. So we have an equation here that's partly written for us, so we just want to fill in the blanks. In this type of situation, we always have the tangent line squared equals the outside part times the whole thing. So what we have here is the whole thing part of that situation. So on one side, we're going to have x squared, and then over here, we'll have 4, which is the outside part. Now to solve this, I can distribute the 4 and get 16 plus 20. So x squared equals 36 which means x equals 6 or x equals negative 6. And just like the previous two examples, we will eliminate our negative answer because it doesn't make sense in the context of this problem. So our answer is x equals 6.